Hey, this is Simon. Uh, I'm here at ISE 2025 on the Row Visual booth. Um, let's go take a look around. So this is a big LED displays that you're doing? Yeah, so here we've got um, our Art Morph, Art Morph display, which is um, a, a product from our sister company, uh, Seco Seco. Um, so it's an architectural product um, which has totally customizable covers on the front um, and then an LED backdrop behind it. It looks so cool. You can see here that you can change the, the covers to have any um, texture or surface that you like um, and then you can hide imagery behind that. It looks like there's a projector on top of it. Yeah, no, this is all uh, direct LED. All right, and let's walk through your tunnel and we can come back out yeah. after again. So we're combining that with our uh, jet product here. So we've got the, the art morph going into the jet. And then if we go down the tunnel, we've got a row strip. Nice. So we've ah, that got the road strip down the sides, and we've got our new BM2i, which is the interactive BM2 on the floor. Nice. And this is the other side of your booth. So yeah, we're in the main section of the booth now. Um, we've got a lot of products on show here. So we've got the main showpiece, which is above us, and in the backdrop is the Topaz 2.6 curve. Uh, so this is a really nice um, product for live events um, and touring. We've got the Vanish Solid Touring behind us, which is an outdoor touring product. So that, that means that your technology is in a bunch of uh, festivals and concerts? Yeah, and so this is designed for festivals and uh, arena tours, things like that. Um, we've got the Coral uh, 1.2 here. So this is more of a fixed install product um, designed for corporate um, broadcast, these types of environments. Uh, this is using chip on board technology. Uh, what is a chip on board? How do you use that? How does it make it so better? Chip on board is uh, the LEDs are essentially built into the uh, PCB itself, into the substrate, rather than being a, a device that's mounted on top of the PCB. So there's a few different advantages. Um, power consumption, heat dissipation, brightness are all improved. Um, and do you show some of the modules here? Yeah, so this this is the Topaz, uh, this is the Topaz Q panel. And so it's from the same Topaz family as the curve that we saw behind me. Um, but with this, we can create really seamless corners um, because the, piece, the PCB and the chassis itself is, is actually chamfered. So it allows us to get really nice um, corner designs. But everything within the Topaz range is fully compatible. So you could combine this with a flat panel, with a curved panel, or with the cube panel, and they all lock together seamlessly. Is there a lot of consideration in the way things are designed here? Yeah, so it's using, it's actually using the same uh, mechanics as our uh, Ruby range, which is kind of like our top of the range product. Um, so the mechanics are really, really nice. The power supply at the back here, everything basically comes off in one piece which is really good if you're on site and you ever had an issue all you have to do is re remove what is this one box so this has got the the receiver card behind here which is the the brains of the panel if you like uh, the hub board which is communicating to the modules and then behind here you've got the the power supply unit so it's all in one box uh, and what's the kind of engine that sometimes run a big, big setup? So we work with uh, many different processing platforms such as Brompton, Megapixel, eVision. Um, the jet that you see is on Novastar for the first time. We've also got uh, the Ruby 1.9 around the corner is on Deep Sky, so that's a new development that we've been working on recently. Um, so yeah, we're working with a lot of different processing platforms. What is this? Uh, this is the chassis for the jet. So. Um, yeah, this is this this is based on the half panel. Um, 
most of the, the wall behind uh, here is based on the full panel. All right. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about the, this big one, the curved one here. Uh, the, a bunch of flat ones that create a curve. Yeah, so this is, this is the Topaz curve. So it's fully uh, customizable. The angle is, um, yeah, it's a natural curve. So you don't see any facets. Uh, and it's on the 2.6 millimeter pixel pitch, which is what you're seeing here. It's um, set, you can set the angle from minus 15 to plus 15 degrees. So you've got a total of 30 degrees per panel that you can curve. It's also what you're seeing on the bar here and above us, um, in the banner above us. Nice. Uh, what do you do? I am technical support for Row in the UK. Um, so yeah, I'm basically on site with customers, giving training sessions, dealing with any on site support that might be needed. Okay, we see uh, different partners. And, and then you can see in the middle there above the bar, we've also got the row strip uh, in a chandelier. So it's the same product that you saw in the tunnel. Um, yeah, it's a really popular product, very creative product, so it allows a lot of flexibility and creativity in designs. Uh, it can be rotated as well. Um, if you use it with the correct Brompton processor, you can use that in one degree uh, rotations, which is, is very nice for creative tours and custom stages. Uh, the front again, again, here at the front on the desk, we've got Coral 1.2, so that's the same as the product on the far side. Uh, also chip on board and then the Ruby 1.9 Deep Sky which I mentioned is here as well. Nice. Uh, what do uh, visitors at your booth really like the most? Sorry? What do visitors at your booth like the most? Uh, I think probably, is it this side? probably the Denali which is the 0.7 uh, MIP which is uh, micro LED in package. So this is uh, a new technology which is really getting down to each diode is less than 100 microns in size. So this is, uh, yeah, really pushing the boundaries of technology at the moment. And which one is that? Uh, just around here. Yeah, so this is the Denali. So yeah, this is... Uh, this is actually a 4K resolution. Um, so it's, yeah, it's very similar to the kind of um, pixel density that you'd see on a 4K LCD panel. Um, we're at 0.7 millimeters pixel pitch here. So that's, for LED technology, that's uh, very, very It's small. micro LED, no? It's micro LED, correct, yeah, yeah. Does that mean uh, people are gonna wanna order this for their home theater? Potentially in the future, yeah, yeah. Obviously, at the moment, the technology is quite expensive, but o over time, as the price comes down, I think we'll see these start to appear in people's homes. So there's a full 4K right here. Yes. And yeah. there's zero dead pixel. 0.78. No, no broken pixel. Everything is perfect. We hope not. We checked it. We didn't find any. <laughs> we checked every uh, eight million pixels or something. Yeah. And they look, they look great. Yeah. There's a system for reliability in terms of even if there's a dead pixel, it doesn't show. Maybe uh, it depends. A lot of that depends on the content. Um, if you have plot colors, then you're more likely to see any dead pixels. But right. So in general, because it's MIP technology, it's more reliable as well. So yeah. <laughs> If there is a dead pixel, is it possible to just turn it off so it doesn't make a bright light? Or how uh, does that work? More time, more often than not, if you have a dead pixel, that pixel will just be black. And there's not really a lot you can do about it. Um, so yeah, normally if it's still showing some light, it's you might have the red and the green, but the blue's gone, or yeah, one of the three diodes is missing. Um, and uh, you, you put four of those together, you got an 8K screen, no? Correct, yeah, yeah. And this is 100 and how many inch? Yeah. 160. Um, and if you just go quickly back over here. Yeah. Oh, hi. <coughs> 
this this cool is very this uh, is that also the now oh, Sierra yeah uh, sorry yeah we missed this one so this is the Sierra um, so this is very similar to the Denali, but this is the 1.2 millimeter pixel pitch. Uh, so this is a full HD resolution. Um, and again, it's aimed at kind of like the corporate, uh, broadcast worlds, fixed install. Um, is it brighter than the Denali? Uh, I think it's the same brightness, yeah, yeah. So a peak, it can go to... Sorry? Peak brightness, you talk uh, about it? I believe it's a thousand nits. I'd need to double check. It's a very new product. Um, so this wall here is so awesome. Uh, are there many projects like this with your technology around the world that look so cool like uh, this? This is kind of unique because we're blending the Art Morph with Rose traditional rental products. Um, we're combining them to create one kind of uh, piece. Um, but you can see here on the table the um, the different options available with the Art Morph, you can interchange all of these covers to have different surfaces and finishes. Uh, so this is a really work? creative product. So it means the... How, what, what, can you explain what's happening here? Why is this yeah. and this? So these, these covers here, you can custom design them. They are on the outside parts of this, this wall here, so from this section onwards. You have the art so the LEDs light through them? Yeah, so they're backlit with LED. They're backlit with the LED, but you can add different textures on the surface. So th this product's aimed at um, hotels, corporate lobbies, this type of thing. Um, and it's removable? So or it's a very it creative product. Yeah, so it's, this is just a demonstration, but yeah, this is like a... And you can use real wood veneers if you wanted to on here. What do we see under here? No, that's it. That's it. Ah, yeah, okay. So, so basically, ah, okay. it, there's a way that you optimize how much light goes through. Or yeah, and you can you also still use the effect. Yeah, you can also play around with the thicknesses of the material to give different effects on the surface as well. So you can play around with different um, different things on this to create really artistic results. So which one is on right now? Is it one of these? Uh, we've got a few different textures, so if you come... If you look really closely, you see there's a, a wooden texture here, but this one here is like a stone almost. And then over here there's uh, like a marble. So you can see here, you may, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but this is a, a totally different texture. So you can play around with all these different textures and finishes to create um, really artistic results. Nice. So, yeah. what's the dot pitch of the LEDs that are behind? Uh, it's about five or six millimeters. Um, yeah, so you don't we, need to go in a very high because you're combining it, it with the texture. Alone. Yeah, because it, it just needs to be. It, it needs to be bright enough to get enough light output from the through the cover but then small enough that you don't get hot spots and areas it has to be evenly dispersed so is it your invention to do with these kind of uh, covers what's that sorry uh, is it your invention to use those kind of uh, materials yeah so this is it's a sister company to Roe so our founder Jason Liu he's his uh, company which is developed alongside Row in the last few years, yeah. It makes it really impressive, but it could be like more or less permanent, but then you just change the tiles to make another uh, show yeah, with the same could, LED in the back. You could totally change the design after a year or so, and yeah, the designs are customizable as well, so it could be tailored to a company logo or yeah, anything like that. They're totally customizable. Um, nice. But like the for idea for is one month even... you're looking, you're walking into the pyramid. The next month you are like yeah, on sure. a yeah, yeah. ancient Greece. And the idea uh, is that even when it's the LEDs are powered off, it still looks very nice. It's not just a black LED screen. It's something that's actually artistic and has a texture. I, I totally thought that the whole texture was actually uh, projected, but actually yeah. on, on, in front of the. No, it's actually yeah, it's actually on the panel itself and it's backlit. <laughs> So, yeah. That's cool. It's and just cool. in here, there's a round, that's a full without the cover, right? Yeah, so this, from this point onwards, this is the jet panel. 
Um, so you can see as well here, this is we're combining the Artmorph uh, product here with a traditional LED product here. So this is the jet. Um, this is with a custom shape here. So you can see the, the keyhole um, is a special shape that we've had developed um, in the jet product family. Um, so yeah, we're just combining the two to show that you can integrate those two products seamlessly to create a much bigger uh, piece. Where's your company headquarters? Uh, headquarters is in Shenzhen in China. Uh, we've got offices in North America, Europe, Australia, Japan, uh, Middle East, all over the world. Is your company one of the leaders in terms of quantities or? Yeah, so uh, we, we would consider ourselves the leader in the rental market, live events market, uh, one of the leaders in the broadcast market. Um, so these are all fields we're very strong in and we've got a very good reputation. Um, and yeah, in, in this world, the architectural world, it's very a new product, obviously. It's something that's a, a, new, um, yeah, a new adventure for us into this market, but the products have been received very well. We've been um, showing this at trade shows now for a year or so, maybe two years now, um, and it's getting a lot of good feedback. So It looks amazing, uh, and I guess it could be even interesting to have how it looks in a, during the day or in the night or yeah. it's just completely different experience yeah and it exactly. could be huge there's no limit yeah. how big you want to make it right no 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 it's everything that we've got here is totally modular so um, you can make it any size or shape that yeah that you like that's the that's the beauty of led technology so this is like a whole new frontier for architecture architects yeah sure uh, yeah, yeah, yeah and interior so, designers and everybody yeah. they can totally think about new yeah. ideas now yeah and a lot of the time they don't realize that this is even possible um, so yeah it's it, I think it's opening a lot of eyes and turning a lot of heads in that world and uh, let's say I don't know how many square meters you have here but let's say you want to switch to a different how long would it take the guys who know how to put it set it up to just switch them all out to another thing uh, just to change the covers is it kind of like magnetic you switch uh, them yeah, around yeah. so it's just on magnets yeah so probably this to change all the covers on this wall would yeah with a couple of guys maybe a, a half an hour of hours yeah maybe one or two hours something <laughs> like that okay. yeah it's not hard. that's cool it's pretty quick um, but obviously they have to go up in a certain order to make the the image that you want so you have to be a little bit uh, methodical with it but it's nice and easy to change. Is there a huge power consumption or it's okay? No, no, it's, yeah, it's pretty low. Same as that. It's lower than a standard uh, high, uh, smaller pixel pitch LED designs. Uh, it's probably about the same. Yeah, because obviously even though it's a bigger pixel pitch, it's higher brightness. So, um, yeah. It can go very bright, no? Yeah. Yeah, How, yeah. What's the max brightness for this kind of pixel pitch? Uh, for this kind of pixel pitch, Probably something around 2,000 nits, um, but what what that outputs in terms of lumens after because of the covers, um, um, it obviously depends on the cover and what the design is, how dark that is, what material it is. But so yeah, it can vary. And uh, you have all these ideas for the cover designs: Patek Philippe, concrete, raw oak, garbage. So much potential. Yeah. Maybe in theory you could just print new designs that whatever people want, just yeah. print it somehow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. If you can design it, we can do it. 